Hey, Allie. Um, I think you're forgetting a couple of really important things. The only reason the Galactic Empire survived was because of the Emperor. He was the one that organized everything. He was the one that, you know, went out and, and went to these planets and was like, listen, guys, I'm controlling you right now. And also, he was the one that actually, you know, if you look at Revenge of the Sith, he is the one that, that everyone supported. Like, there was a reason why he is in charge of everything. So once he's gone, there's no one to organize all that anymore. That's why when the Ewoks and everybody and, and all the Rebel Alliance went to Endor and they disabled the thing and then they, they blew up the Death Star, um, that's why they won at the end. Um, now, I, I mean, I realize that while it, it, it's a little... Uh, 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 it's a little uh, that the Ewoks could beat the, the Stormtroopers and all that stuff. But, at the same time, don't forget they also had Rebel Alliance troops helping them. A lot of people who think that the Ewoks shouldn't have won that battle don't, you know, don't remember it wasn't just Ewoks. It was Ewoks plus Rebel Alliance troops against a small force of Stormtroopers on the planet. I mean, the, the planet wasn't like overrun with Stormtroopers. It was just like they, they were there protecting the thing, but they weren't really expecting a battle. Um, so once they could disable the shield generator, then they can come, then the, the guys in the sky could come in, destroy the second Death Star, um, and because the Emperor was on the second Death Star, and because Darth Vader was on the second Death Star, neither of them could run the Empire anymore. And that's exactly why the, uh, the Rebel Alliance should have and did win uh, at the end of Return of the Jedi. Uh, I don't really know if it can be said any more clear than that. Um, now, in terms of in terms of people on other planets and and other stormtroopers everywhere and other troops and all that stuff, like I said before, there's no one to organize them anymore. It's great that they're around. I mean, well, not great, but it's like it's one thing to have them be around, but the fact that they are doesn't mean anything if they don't have anyone to control them. You forget in Attack of the Clones, we learn that the stormtroopers are specifically you know engineered to take whatever orders are given to them. Um, so if someone's just like, hey, listen, guys, uh, don't fight anybody anymore, they'd be like, all right. It wouldn't be a big deal to them. And uh, while it, it is true that there are commanders and everything like that that aren't clone troopers and don't have that stuff, again, they don't have a leader. And it would be very, very easy for the Rebel Alliance to then go on and destroy them. And that's my argument. So you said good luck to me. I'm saying good luck to you. Bye.